Zoning bylaw amendment, comprehensive permit applications. We have the recommended vote of the ARB. Thank you. Zoning bylaw is amended by inserting words, certain oaths, et cetera, et cetera. Someone want to speak to it? Ah, Adam. Christine Sapinski, Arlington Redevelopment Board. This article is very straightforward. Its purpose is to require electronically recorded testimony taken under oath for comprehensive permit application hearings that are conducted by the Zoning Board of Appeals in the event that an appeal becomes necessary. Comprehensive permits are filed for affordable housing projects that qualify under MGL 40B. They allow a developer to exceed a community zoning requirements in order to construct a multifamily housing development with 25% of units priced to be affordable. In the event that the town may one day need to file an appeal to a comprehensive permit application, the Massachusetts Housing Appeals Committee, the body that rules on appeals, relies on ZBA testimony. With an electronic accounting taken under oath, the town will be able to provide evidence to appeal a comprehensive permit, and therefore, we feel it is prudent to require this additional level of protection to the town. No additional cost is involved for either developer or the ZBA. Okay, thank you. Anyone wish to speak to this article? Mr. Hainer. Bill Hainer, Precinct 2. Did I misunderstand that, the, saying that there would be no charge? Are we already paying for some sort of uh, record that's been kept? Chris Sapinski, ARB. Uh, there is no charge. Uh, we're not requiring a court-appointed recording or a stenographer, just some type of recording. It could be a video. It could be a tape recorder. If I may, Mr. Speaker. Hi, Mr. Yes, Martyr, excuse me. Uh, is it the intent to make you have this legally binding? The this intent is to have additional documentation of the hearing because the, the committee that, that rules on these hearings needs that type of documentation. And I guess I'm, I'm going to repeat myself. Is, do these, these rules, are they seeking to make a legal uh, copy uh, that, that may be used in some, at some further time? Is it a legal copy? I think the question is, will this be a legally binding transcript under oath? Juliana? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was so mesmerized by the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I have that effect sometimes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Moderator, Juliana Rice, Town Council. Um, Generally what happens in this situation is you have um, a tape recording, either video or audio, and then you can have it uh, transcribed by a certified shorthand reporter. And once the reporter uh, certifies that it's an accurate transcript, that can be used for all legal purposes. Thank you. I understand that. But now it goes back to the original part. The, uh, the maker of the motion said that there'd be no cost. Now we're potentially at a point where we might have to uh, incur, incur some a cost by having the legal transcript made. Am I correct? Uh, yes. If an appeal um, were to be uh, brought forward, then the appellant would have the responsibility of creating that transcript, and that there would be an associated cost. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak to the article? Mr. Judd? Lyman well, Judd, Precinct 9. I think it's pretty simple. What we want is an accurate record of what is said and promised, and it does say under oath. I hate to, uh, well, I don't really intend to insult anybody, but <clears throat> over the years, I have seen that the members of the Redevelopment Board, etc., even though they're pretty sharp, are often defeated 
by some, shall we say, industrious lawyer who finds a little loophole around the zoning bylaw. And I think this will help at least try to hold them to what they say. So I think that we should definitely approve this. And uh, you know, you just have to be careful. I've, and <clears throat> I've been around Arlington all my life, including coming from Sims Hospital. And I think you only have to look just up the street a little bit to the corner of Mill Street and Massachusetts Avenue to see what a developer can do with what somebody thought was a pretty good zoning bylaw. Or even go up to the corner of Mill Street and Summer Street. Or look at what's going up where Buttrix and, shall we say, Brigham's used to be. Now, if you don't like any of that, these were all done legally because they found a way to be legal. So I think we have to be very careful with any, anything that we're doing to make sure it is refined and that a lot of people have some time to think about it and think of the possible negative consequences unintended that might occur. As I say, I'm sure that the developers, when they get in, they want to uh, make maximum possible profit. So sometimes Hello. that's at the expense of the way this town has been over the years and wants to be for many more. So I would advise that you vote yes on this article and let's see if we can at least hold some of these developers to their promises. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Schlickman. Paul Schlickman, Precinct 9, motion to terminate debate under all items under this article. Motion to, right. motion to terminate debate. It's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? No. Well, that was the last speaker anyways. So we have before us a recommended vote of the ARB. All in favor, please say yes. Yes. Opposed, say no. My opinion, it's a unanimous vote. Uh,